marketing industry is just com- training industry is just completely oversaturated, right? Um, it's just like the AAU industry started, I think it started off with people who were qualified and really were passionate about training um, and, and wanted to make a career out, out of it um, to just an opportunity for anyone um, to make money. Um, so that's that's number one. Um, you know, I know where I'm at in Louisville, I mean, 95 percent of these trainers are qualified. They have no basketball resume like we talked at the top of the show. They have no background or resume um, to justify them um, training um, the next generation of players. Um, so that's number one. And only, and only reason they're in it is for to make some money, um, you know, to 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 feel a uh, feel a desire in their heart to be involved in a game of basketball that um, they couldn't be involved with as a player because they didn't work hard enough, they made the wrong choices, they weren't good enough, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, secondly, then we got, so second to piggyback off that is, is because many of them are unqualified, <clears throat> they don't understand the process of player development, right? So they're just throwing out a whole bunch of girls out there, stuff they see online, you know, different step backs or different fancy moves they see, they may see on the highlights. And this is the basis of their training, right? They're not breaking down each individual player, figuring out their strengths and weaknesses, really breaking down and doing the boring stuff. Like, you know, if you got to teach a kid to, to, to fix their shot, you know, you're going to be doing form shooting right in front of the hoop. And, and at times it can be boring. It can be uh, challenging. Um, it can be frustrating for both the player and the coach. Uh, but you got to be willing to give your true player development coach. You have to do the stuff that's not going to get you on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. Um, and many of them don't do that. They only want to do the stuff that they see on Instagram, on social media, and they want themselves to be seen training players to do the same thing. Um, so many times you get players who know how to play 5% of the game because one-on-one basketball, fancy moves, stuff you do with the ball, that's five percent of the game do you know different do you know all the reads coming off the pin down do you know all the all the reads at the ice of pick and roll do you know how to score on the pick and roll do you know how to put your defender in jail uh, do you know how to score off a dribble handoff right now all the all the one-on-one moves that you're taught yes you can use them within those situations but if you don't understand the reads uh and the reactions then it's useless um and you know going against cones and taking the same shot 10 times in a row and, 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 you know, again, it's, 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 it's a, it's, it's a, uh, what they call it a armchair quarterback approach to training because these guys are not fully committed to training. It's just a hustle for them. So then 30 as a, thirdly as a byproduct of all this, right. Um, then the kids have a warped sense of what basketball is about, because if they see all these trainers doing these fancy moves and those are trainers that they're going to gravitate to, um, especially if that trainer got, you know, got a hookup where he got video, good videographers coming, making fancy videos, cool videos, they're social media experts. So they got a lot of followers, a lot of viewers. The kids will go and be like, man, I just, I'm going to go train with them just so I can be getting a fancy video. Um, especially in Louisville, there's, there's, these kids, they really don't want to work. Um, you know, my reputation for training is you're going to get a, a real hard NBA level workout. As much as all these kids say they want to go to the NBA, you know, they don't want nothing to do with um, the stuff that I'm doing um, because I'm going to get you better. They want they want the, the, the fancy stuff. And, it, you know, it doesn't make sense. But the parents, too, the parents fall into it, too. I know parents who bring their kids to certain trainers simply so that they can take photos and post on social media and, and get a video and 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 and. and you know, to them, that's another form of exposure. It just kind of bleeds. The AAU part kind of bleeds in. That's another form of exposure. 